Welcome to America News. Mei Fong writes called Touchu to resemble the English word touch. The app enables users to rent the life-size dolls, which come in various models, for $45 a day, with a $1,200 deposit. The operators assured users that they would be washed between rentals. But Touchu climax all too soon, and it was rapidly shut down by the authorities after the story went viral on the Chinese internet. But they're only the tip of a massive and growing market in Chinese society for sex dolls, as the country grapples with a growing shortage of women. Thanks to a long-held cultural preference for sons, coupled with over three decades of restrictive population planning policies, China is forecast to have over 30 million surplus men by 2030. This preference for boys has slowly dwindled, especially in the cities, but the country still faces a critical gap for the next few decades. To help alleviate this and other demographic woes, Beijing in 2015 announced a switch to a nationwide twat child policy, but the damage to this generation's sexual relationships has already been done. You can read the rest of the story here.